This week's PMQs was a tussle over NHS funding. Corbyn attacked the Tory Finn Gruel funding model. The only, pr the only problem with that, Mr Speaker, is it was 2.8 billion spread like thin gruel over two years. Yeah. May hit back, claiming NHS spending was more generous than ever. We are putting more money into the NHS year in and year out, and we are continuing to do that. That is, strictly speaking, true. But it's an idiotic way to measure funding for our health service. NHS funding increases every year. It needs to as the population grows, and it should do as the economy gets bigger. In fact, it's fallen just once since 1979. The issue is that by historic standards, Tory increases have been meagre. Under 1% each year, a quarter of the 4% average annual growth under the last Labour government. In fact, measured as a proportion of GDP, the Tories have presided over the biggest NHS funding squeeze ever. You might think that's a good thing. Maybe Labour were spending too much. Not true. The UK spending on healthcare is below the EU average and lagging well behind Germany, Sweden and France. This is not about what we can or cannot afford. May finish PMQs by shoehorning in her future election pitch. This is a government that is building a country that works for everyone and a country, a country in which a country in which people can look to the future with optimism and hope. With public services crumbling, real term wages falling, and austerity linked to 120,000 unnecessary deaths since 2010, whatever future may is selling, I'm not buying it.